hot dogs. Everybody knows hot dogs are little sausages served in buns. <laughs> They're one of the great American foods. Everybody loves a hot dog, a good hot dog. I can even eat them for breakfast. <laughs> it's an American tradition. You get them at ballpark. Hey, hot dogs! You can just grab them and just go. You can eat with your hands, you know, you can get messy. There's no rules to the game. You know, it's like, ah, I don't know. One of the best things about hot dog shops is they've not become standardized and franchised across the country. They're still small and regional and unique. So get ready. We're going to check out a few from Macon, Georgia, to Chicago, Illinois, to Anchorage, Alaska. We'll sample dogs topped with all kinds of stuff. I myself, I like it just like this, naked. They're good. They're good. You can't beat the chili dog. Sauerkraut or just mustard? Ketchup. Ketchup. I think most Americans grew up on hot dogs. Eat an uh, apple a day. I mean, it should be a hot dog a day. I think a hot dog is best enjoyed alone. Look how good on the look. 41 years ago. What do you have? <laughs> We're going to celebrate hot dogs and the people who love them, even though some folks have slight reservations. Nobody can identify anything they put in these things. I wouldn't say they're bad for people. I would say everything in moderation. Upton Sinclair, the jungle, you know. Five days a week, that's fine. That's moderate. It's a sin. I'll take my chances. We're going to call this a hot dog program. And we apologize in advance if we don't get to your favorite stand. You know, you steam the bun, you steam the dog, and it's real soft and it snaps with some chili. That's living. A hot dog program is made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by annual financial support from viewers like you. Now, where do you get a good local hot dog? Let's say you're in Fairfield, Connecticut, where most mornings Gary Zamola parks this truck behind his father's lighting store. All its hand-painted signs, including the name Super Duper Weenie, were already on this 1973 GMC step van when Gary got it and fixed it up in the early 1990s. There are times when I drive in that thing and I could see people's lips inside their car and they're going. And I'll stick my head out and say, you know what? It's funny, but you said it. You know, how can you deny? I read your lips. I said, it's a great hot dog. How can you beat that? If the truck is in its regular spot, Gary's assistant, Mike Yancic, says you want to take exit 24 off I-95. People get off the highway right over there, and there's a truck facing them with a big hot dog on the side. And if they've been driving all day and they're hungry, it kind of sparks them. It gets their like, imagination going. They think about it and pull over. They won't be disappointed. Gary studied at the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York, and takes pride in his two homemade relishes and his so-called killer dogs with names like the New Yorker and the Chicagoan and the New Englander. It's kraut, bacon, caraway, the sweet relish. Th that's how the New Englander started. It was just your basic dog with the works. The dogs here are extraordinary, and the French fries are legendary. What would you want to add? Two French fries, one iced tea, one, one dog. Yeah. Everything's all like hand, hand cooked, very good stuff. Very good stuff, and the fries are the best. Oh, they're awesome. I love my fries. You know, and a killer dog, and it looks like really good. I get off on it, and I get off on the feedback that I get. So good. My wife was in labor in the hospital with her second child, left the hospital, come down to have a hot dog, and go back to the hospital to have the baby. This tiny little truck is serving hot dogs, what I consider four-star hot dogs. You go on your lunch break, you want to be relaxed. This is the, you know, it's nice to relax. I'm sure there's traffic going by, but... He's got a great hot dog stand personality. Oh, he's, he's a great uh, chef, not because he's my brother, but he's, he's very good at what he does. Gary will do just about anything for his customers, but there is one thing he won't sell. So many people come up to that truck and they'll order the whole damn thing. The most loaded dogs you can get, New England or New, whatever they order. Order a fries, and then I hear diet soda and the hair on the back of my neck goes up. Diet soda is non-conducive to the times of the truck. The diet doesn't exist here. You are here to splurge, you're here to relax, enjoy. It's supposed to be like a you know, 40s, 50s lunch wagon and diet soda didn't exist. Well, Gary's dream has always been to open a diner, a great diner with food prepared with all the love and conviction that he puts into his super-duper weenies. Passion is the key to this thing. 
If you don't dig what you're doing, you're dead. <laughs> I love this. I love working here, and I, I love the super duper weenie. And who could be happier, right? Most people are miserable at their jobs. So I dig it. I totally dig it. You know, this was just a clip. To get a DVD copy of this entire program or others like it, please call 1-800-274-1307 or visit wqed.org and click on Shop WQED.